We've come to realize that by performing with our bodies physically, we are making a statement about the world and about disability, as well as just organic statements about embodiment and performance. We want to put our authentic selves on stage, and how do we do that in an honest way and still relate to the audience? So I think that's been kind of our exploration for the past few years. We're not really activists per se, but by showing up in regular venues, by working with the Headwaters, by working with Mizu, by going to regular festivals and all of these things, then we're sort of performing a radical act and I think really believe that our bodies are just part of the spectrum of the, of the human form, just part of the diversity of the human form. What keeps the group uh, really rooted and focused is this, is, is this ideal of how to, to really, really reveal and open ourselves. And that's what the whole meaning of Underneath has been for us, that's much larger than the work we're creating, but it's the work that we're trusting each other to open in the studio as well. I find it really interesting that, that they like to push boundaries and uh, take something that's related to them in real life that you wouldn't necessarily even think about. Uh, just enjoy working with the both of them and, and Mizu as far as we generate a lot of creative material. A lot of it doesn't necessarily get on stage, but a lot of it is just really brilliant in its moments. Neither one of them came into this going, I want to work with people with disabilities. We all, we all took workshops together generally in the dance community. You know, Nathan and I took a Buto workshop together probably in 2003, 2004 that didn't have anything to do with disability. So we, we met up with each other the same way that other professional performers meet up with each other, the same kind of networks and things. It, it's not about disability necessarily. It's about a shared aesthetic that we all have. I think that there was uh, really something magic that happened when we came together to work with Mizu because we were invited. You know, she'd already seen us in class. She knew what we had to offer and said, I, I want that. To be invited and to realize that we didn't have to go through that process of translation and sort of proving our place in the room. The relationship just bloomed because of that. It is a little bit confrontational sometimes, you know, it really kind of forces an audience to, to recognize that, reckon with it.